watching is a fast-growing, enjoyable pastime for many people. If you are also feeding the birds at home, it's time to take it to the next level. Here are three ways to help you make better photographs of birds. Know the equipment, know the light, and know the birds. But first, let's set the stage. Create a stand of large branches in which to set a feeder. Attach leaves, berries, or flowery branches to make it look natural. Birds will perch on nearby branches before flying to the feeder. Set this about 10 feet from the window you plan to shoot from. This portable setup can easily be moved for better light or background. Place a piece of mesh fabric with an opening for camera viewing over the window. Inside, another mesh fabric lets you see the action but hides your movements from the birds. The outside fabric will also reduce reflections on the window that birds might fly into. Now it's time to know the equipment. Yes, you'll need a tripod. Bird photography requires steadiness. A tripod will keep you relaxed for catching the right moment in focus. A digital SLR camera will save you time and money because you will learn faster by taking more shots. A camera with a 12 megapixel sensor or larger will hold more detail and color info. Because birds move fast, you will need quick eyes and reflexes to capture the moment. Make sure the camera has a fast response shutter release button. A 70 to 200 millimeter zoom lens that can focus closely is a great investment. Focus on the face. A sharp bird's eye will help make the photo a keeper. Know the effect of aperture on the depth of field or focus in the frame. An f-stop of 2.8 or 4 will reduce distracting detail in the background. A shutter speed of 1 1 25th of a second will capture some movement, but if the light will allow it, a higher shutter speed is better. Get to know the whole camera if you want to improve your game. Know the light. Light sets the mood, affects the quality of the image, and your ability to capture it. Where is the light coming from outside this window? When is the best time of day to shoot where you are set up? Birds are more active at the morning and evening when the light slants in. You may have to move this whole setup to get the right light from the right window. At different times of day, trees or buildings may shade distracting backgrounds. Or put up your own shade cloth. Placed on the other side, it becomes a light reflector filling in dark shadows. Cloudy days have softer light. Try using the flash on your camera at reduced strength. Don't be afraid of backlight. It can be dramatic. Know the birds. Seeds will attract seed eaters. To crack open these treasures, some birds will fly regularly to favorite branches. Focus there to anticipate this. Place peanut butter out of view on branches or in holes. Birds will see that others are eating and be drawn to the action. There's a lot of knowledge out there. Many excellent books and films at the library or at nature supply stores. Know what's around you. Pay attention to what birds eat in the wild. Take advantage of native plants in your area. Some birds prefer feeding on the ground. So let the grass mature and seed near the window you are using. Let the berry trees grow nearby. And don't forget water. This is a definite attraction. For healthier birds and prettier shots, keep it fresh and clean. Encourage the diversity of nature near your home. Guess who's raising a family in your dogwood tree? Hey, what's that in the holly bush you planted? Set the stage. Make your own lucky shots. With patience and practice, 
fruit photography gets easier. So know the equipment, know the light, and know the birds. You might be surprised who's watching the birds with you.